So please turn off your cell phone and everything. I must say, in the Chandler Music Society stage, every year we always bring in great artists for you. And today we are so lucky to have one of my favorite pianists with us, Jeremy Jenk. And Jeremy and I went way back. When we were younger, we were playing piano four hands together, fighting over the keyboard. But from playing with him, I know I have one of the best pianists. He's the most sensitive, has an incredible ear for balance, for musical thought, the most creative on stage. We are so proud he's going to give us all the uh, keyboard concerto from Bach at this weekend. I actually, I'm going to Korea, Jeremy. I'm going to miss your concert, but I'm coming to the dress rehearsal before I take off. <laughs> so let's welcome Jeremy. I'm so grateful for him to share his time and his thoughts with us. Jeremy, take over. <laughs> I, I don't have anything to say. That was very nice, <laughs> incredibly nice. Uh, and I guess the group is going to play Dvorak Quintet. Uh, that's the first thing. So I'll go listen, then I'll be back. <laughs>
Lots of really lovely playing, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Um, is there another chair I could get to sit and pontificate in my? Um, what? Great. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, 
it was, the, there was lots of really beautiful things. I thought the, the third movement was a little more attentive to color and nuance than, than the first movement was. And maybe because you maybe rehearsed that more recently or, or so I don't know why. Um, so I thought it would be useful to go through the first movement and, and kind of remind you of some, some beauties hiding in there. Um, I have played this piece, I don't know, it's an insane number of times. And I have all this baggage from all the performances uh, and all my desires and frustrated dreams of how it should go. Uh, and I, the last thing I want to do is saddle you with this, <laughs> this baggage in all your young freshness. But um, there is one thing that I feel fairly strongly about, that, that the first whatever number of bars, the cello solo, should not be half the tempo of the, of the which it was literally half. Uh, now that's a tradition uh, of a certain kind, you know, to really milk the first theme and then, but somehow I think you have to find a slightly less drastic way of, of getting that dualism. And the whole idea is this um, incredibly beautiful Czech song that carries within it both the joy and the pain of, of life. And it transitions kind of perfectly into this more rustic dance than to the folk dance. You know, these, the way these songs and tunes um, have this, I don't know what, whether to say, it's an interesting combination of complete naivete and love of life and this kind of world-weary um, thing. And, and every time we get to the minor, when you do the you had a tendency to take an enormous amount of time. Uh, and I guess it made me feel like it was drawing too much attention. In a way, the, the idea of this theme is that, yes, the, the major happens, and then the minor happens, and it's all part of this kind of um, flow of life, if that's not too. Uh, when I'm drinking coffee, I tend to get a little <laughs> over, over poetic. But you know, it just kind of happens. It's the river of things. And, and what's so beautiful is that, that you sort of notice it, but you don't get obsessed about it. You don't, uh, you don't kill us. You don't pound, it over the, pound us over the head with it. So I, another detail at the beginning that is part of my baggage, very beautiful, but I wondered if the didon could be a little more in the left hand uh, in the beginning. I have a little obsession about that too because there's a little staccato over it. Do you have that in your yeah. score? Yeah, that's interesting. That's an odd marking. Of course, the pedal's down and there's a slur and there's a lot of contraindications, right? But you have the triplet on the one hand, which is do-dee-do, the, the river's flowing in triplets. And on the other hand, the, trip, the river's flowing in duples or quadruples or whatever you want, right? And that's, for me, that's very important because the motive, dum beep bum ba bum ba bum ba bum comes out of that in a certain way, right? You guys have the staccatos on the, on the string. There's a whole other thing that I don't want to get into about that. So can we start at the beginning of the same thing, but just Try to keep in mind the tempo you're going to be at. Da di um da da di um da da. If you can. <laughs> One, I'm, I don't want to be difficult. Can you take it up one small tempo? One more? Keep it going. Yeah, but well, you have a slight tendency in the second bar to slow down ever so slightly, and it, so it gives this, it's not your solo, right? You're just the river. spoken maybe and now it's very sad but not slow so that it doesn't oh I, I don't know I can't stand that it's so beautiful <laughs> but it becomes more beautiful if you if you understand it a little parenthetically the way he's written it yeah yeah one more time, I, I keep pushing. If you don't mind, when you do the upbeat of the second phrase, do you, I'll be a little bit early. Yeah? You have a tendency to be on the, it's very beautiful, by the way. I know that I'm picking. It's really gorgeous, but 
a little dotty, like, yeah, resist the urge to wallow completely. Yeah? <laughs> The, the, low, the low C sharp is a little loud for me. Yeah, yeah. Do da. Give a little spring with the left hand. Yes. Let's hear your left hand. Toppy. Toddy. I don't hear it enough. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm talking through your whole beautiful playing. I, I know it's completely annoying. I don't hear, and, and especially the bass notes I felt in this movement when we played through. Um, maybe it's the piano, which it may well be. I thought it was very trebly what you were doing. Where it, it wasn't that much in the third movement, and, and the depth of the, you know, that note. Yeah. Especially when she plays. Yeah. Yeah. One more time, and then we'll, I'll stop being. D be, dare me to say that it's too fast. Try to. <laughs> it's still a little bit. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be very difficult. Okay, move for one second. <laughs> Super quiet. Not slow. Yeah? So that there's an element of surprise also. There's a do da da da. Everybody play together now. No, do da da do and there's something new. Yeah? There's some way that in the beginning we've got this tradition of projecting everything that's gonna happen before it happens. Yeah? If you want to capture a little more of the freshness and surprise of it. Yeah? There's no retard written, right? There's no I mean, not that I'm an, that kind of anal retentive person, but you know, um, still, right? Uh, so yeah, I didn't get the left hand. Uh, it's hard to play, so I, I now understand why. Um, uh, wh let's go just the last dee da da dee, the minor version. Da -dee. Now it's quiet. One thing, you don't need to go quite so fast here. It, it exacerbates the problem. Uh, do, 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 do. Can you fill in the eighth notes a little bit, a little more? Right there? You're the interrupter, so don't be um, waiting for the last possible moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a famous Leon Fleischer saying that I, I disagree with. You should always wait to the last possible moment to play, the perfect moment, the last imaginable moment to play a note. No, many notes should come much sooner than you expect them, or, or a little bit when you don't expect them. And that one should be, <coughs> should be, should be one of them. Yeah, da da the sense, sense, yeah? This the last phrase? suggestions, very quick ones. That's the interesting note for me. That's just A minor, right? And then it's party time, yeah? And it, and it, goes, it goes to the middle bar. Right? Do we agree about that? So the more shaping, the better. Yeah, and the more check dance feeling, yeah? And you too. It's a very um, interesting texture there, which was a little bit lost. Yeah? Right, right there at the forte. It's interesting because you guys play staccato on the G also, right? That's a great tradition of playing. But the staccato's on the F, right? 
I don't know. I always get in big arguments with string players about this. We can give it a shot. Yeah, I don't know. The yeah, great, great. And sorry, sorry. A little more line, less. Yeah. Yes, yeah. A tiny bit less pedal in this room, probably. Yeah, right there. It's all about you there, right? Yeah? And no one else has to be big. Yeah? I know it seems like it, everyone should be playing loud there, but it's not true. Yeah? <laughs> Everybody plays with intensity, but you have to. There's no, there's no um, pushing. Yeah? There's something very generous about this whole place. Yeah? Even though there's an intensity to it, it's, it's not an angry. Yeah? Starting from the C major, right there, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. Sorry, so I'm obsessing. Yes, think yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, a little more fun. Yeah, if possible. Yeah. Now let's. Yes, great, 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 fantastic. And, and all of us pianists are desperate for the moment that you have there to play one long note and do something luscious with it. Yeah, we just play da, and it's da. We do something with the pedal, or we move our head, or whatever we do. Yeah, but you have this opportunity right now. Dee, da, dee, da, da. Whatever it is happens on that B has to be magical and developing. Yeah, and definitely not happening and then stopping. You know, in any in the, the key is that leap to the octave, and it's very vocal, like a great. Diva or something, yeah? <laughs> right there, um, nah, same place, I guess, yeah? It was much better, I like, I like, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> great, yeah, great. And you don't need to push tempo-wise there. You, you can actually stay out of the way. There's a lot of fun in this sort of the, you're kind of roiling back here, right? And there's no need to be in a hurry. Whatever it is, it's all about your hearing. You know, D sharp. There's no need, and you don't want to press them so that they feel panicky about balance. You just want to create interest in the background and then allow them to yum bum beam bum bum rum bum bum Yeah, one more time, right, right where you arrive, bar 30, 29, or whatever that is. 20, uh, there, right? Is that right? And one. Right. I don't. Wait. Sorry. Well, sorry. One more time. Obsessing. One more time. I don't hear something in the group is making it hard for me to hear the, the pass off of the beautiful line. Yeah. I was curious about that. Do you, do you really have a feeling you need to crescendo there to do that? I wondered. It's the minor, it's the minor. 
There's something about it. It's like it's a moment of uh, uncertainty after all this da-dum, da -dum. So I wouldn't be too certain about it. You know what I mean? It sounds a little too directed. What you're about to lead to is this amazing pianissimo color in the strings. Can you guys just play there while you come in after he... Uh huh. How, can you just play your part there? Daddy. Yeah. For me, that's what I kind of the bell of her. Daddy. If everything can be beneath that and shimmering like a little, like bells actually, kind of. Daddy. Okay, great. Now, lead it all. You don't know where this is going. You don't know. Aha! Uh -huh. Can it be? Sorry, can it be more legato? Super legato. It still, it still feels a little. You like it? Can you hear this? And you're pressing the C sharp a little bit. Don't, don't. Hit. Yeah. Better, better, better. I'm looking for something. That kind of feeling. Yeah. beautifully as you want, but not ridiculously slower than the main tempo, yeah? <laughs> it's just a, so the, the, the movement begins to sort of fall apart at a certain point. It's like every time we, yeah? This is, and, and we always are returning to this beautiful flow of the triplets, which means the Moldau or the whatever, name the river that you want it to be, yeah? That's, that it's coming and, uh, you know, and, uh, and it's so important that we, it, 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 and with great generosity between the F sharp and the E. Don't be careless about the relationship between those two notes. That's more important than either particular note, is the way you move from the one to the other. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Um, I think you could um, <laughs> experiment when you're doing this with your lateral, with your width and your fatness, yeah? <laughs> Being very slim as you are. Um, there's something about, like when you go for a big note, you tend to do it with key speed rather than, rather than, rather than depth of attack. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Right where he does the melody, is that OK? Uh, or two bars before that? Da -dee, da -da, da -da. Just for you to do. <laughs> yes. That's another one. I'm sorry to infest you with my baggage again, but do we need do we need to know that that surprise is coming? It's so wonderful that the dance suddenly interrupts the the theme, the incredibly beautiful theme. Yeah. So the idea is maybe not to say, "Oh God, something different is coming," but not to make it clear, right? Yeah, to allow it to be capricious and changeable. In the, if possible, you guys, I know this is, they always laugh at me when I say you can't hear the piano in, 
in chamber music, but can you move for two seconds? Um, that's an amazing theme, and you should listen a little more carefully to the harmonies. Here. I hear it, um, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, weak, strong. Yeah, I try to do it without any time, but uh, there's a lot of little things happening in there, a little uh, uh, cross steps and cross kicks or whatever, yeah? And so you guys are just You're really accompanying. Is that, a, is that too mean of me to say? Yeah? And then you have it later, so you'll get to play it, yeah? <laughs> so just four bars before B. mean on the third. Yeah, there's accent on the third one, so you uh, maybe, yeah? Is it, yes, yes, great, yes. And, and, and if, if you miss notes in there, don't worry, everybody misses that. Um, <laughs> right, uh, three before C, is that okay? Yes. One. Again, uh, fatter and less mean. Yeah? Again, the roll, hear the roll from the bass. Yeah? Yeah, more, uh, more singing G sharp bass, if possible. I know it's ridiculous. Yes, a little more depth, and you don't need as much um, speed in the right hand. Yeah? Okay. In general, in, the right, in this movement, the right hand needs to be more um, like you were playing in the trio of the scherzo, so beautifully, and, and, and this one had a little more. For whatever reason, you know, these things happen. Um, right there, uh, same thing, thing one more time. Ah, you, and that's short, right? Short, short. Yeah, see, yeah, 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 that's so important. <laughs> It has to have a sense of what's going to happen, not this happened. Yeah? <laughs> right there? Yeah, and you can wait slightly longer if you want. Yeah? It's a question mark. Sorry, we're just starting in the middle. Great. It's great. I have the, I have the, my idea about this is a little more dance one, and I always get in such trouble with the string players. But the, the piano motive is so it doesn't lend itself to There's something about this idea for me. It goes to the second. And actually, the less of a deal you make up every little bit of it, the better. Yeah, beautiful. It's like tossing a little ball up in the and and the last two bars are one one kind of that. Does that make any sense? Uh, one more time. You're a great little. One more time, try a little crescendo, and less slow on the two pickups. So that you set up the piano to go bop bop. Yeah? Right, right where you come in? Great, great. In this one, right? Yeah. 
I thought it, it, was, it was really beautiful. I like what you're doing. I like the intentionality of it. But I feel like this, I'll play for two seconds. I'll be out of your hair. But I think it could, with the tranquilo and the pianissimo and the slurs, it could be a little more dreamy in its color, you know, and a little less. I don't know, and it, this is string players. Remember this for the rest of your life. This is so beautiful. I know you come in there, but whatever you do, you have to make sure that that part of the texture is still heard. Yeah? And the rhythm is not as important as playing transparently and soulfully there. Does that make any sense? OK, uh, how about where the group comes in? It sounded a little Glenn Gouldish, your, your, um, your staccato is there. Yeah, maybe slightly less obsessively crisp and just charmingly, yeah? OK, one, two. Now dream, or bass. Don't be in a hurry. funny because when I want to rush you guys don't seem to want to suddenly when you, <laughs> I, this seems like a place where we've been in this very static and then it sort of becomes something else so don't be afraid <laughs> then listen to the these are in big groups harmonies yeah they're not it's not important to hear <laughs> and more waves than scale if you can yeah right there at D is that D and whatever you do, the piano plays, that's the most important thing there for the th third and fourth bars. So, and if you can shape more. Yes. OK. Great. Great, great, OK. I have one more suggestion. This is all fortissimo to fortissimo. This whole passage is a famous problem in this movement. But there's a real nice. It's not angry there. Yeah? That passage, weirdly. So I think you can be a little gentler and listen for the melody in the piano. And don't be so angry. And then we're going to build this whole thing up to a fever kind of dance pitch. Yeah? One more time. That was much better. Yes. And you can miss lots of notes. It's good. Yeah? I know you guys have to leave. It's great energy, but maybe if you let it spread a little bit more. Yeah? And you guys, there's three elements to this texture here. There's the book it, book it, book it, book it, book it, book it, right? There's the incredibly singing. And there's him. And they all have their own identities. Yeah? So you should practice them separately and then try to put them together so you can hear all three at the same time. The loudness of you guys is not as important as the shaping, yeah? As yeah? Okay, some of you has to go to class, so I have to stop blabbing. Is that right? Is it time? I have a few more minutes. Um, you're okay? Okay, good, good. If you're okay, then I'm going to keep talking because I had some things to say about the beginning of the development. Yeah, if you're, yeah? Um, uh, how about you guys go from, well, just at the second ending is great. Wow. 
Wow. Again, uh, okay. Uh, I thought maybe the color, that color could be a little more beautiful when you arrive on the D major. And then when you have this, there's tranquilo. Do you guys have that marked also yes. in your part? <coughs> that, I'm still not totally thrilled with that interval. When you play that right there. And if possible, um, mm -hmm. Just weave the kind of, like a little smoke ring around. A little less directed, maybe. And especially, it ends in the major key, right? Yeah, so that, I thought, I don't know, it didn't happen for me, yeah? That sense of switching from to that, yeah? Kind of like a color that's very dim. I feel like, no, uh, yeah. And so there's a very different chapter, yeah? It doesn't feel, um, I know you guys have the little buttered up, the little crickets chirping in the night or whatever it is, yeah? <laughs> Sort of little check insects, but th they're they're sort of um, not too not angry insects again. Sort of, but, yeah, where the cello. Oh shoot! Second ending, one more time. Okay. have to reclaim some tempo. Keep going. Don't stop. Yeah, there's a tradition of taking time there, which drives me out of my mind, too, for whatever reason. Um, and there you are, back in the, in the dance, yeah? Weirdly. We've had a lot of time and fantasy, right? And somehow, suddenly we're back in in the, remain, the rem reminiscence of the main tempo, the dance tempo. Y um, this was very beautiful, what you guys did in the, in the, uh, the strings here, this, the sequence of, of things. So you were listening to the dissonances really nicely. Then the tempo went all over the place for a little while. Um, <coughs> so I think you just need to find your steady tempo there at and then try to stick with it because it got a little maniacal suddenly. <laughs> yeah, to stay in the yeah, so that we don't lose altogether the structure of the of the thing. Um, right? How about from four bars before that? Do we have measure numbers? No. Oh, oh boy. How about where the violin starts? And do, let's try to do like a slow accelerando back into tempo. See if you don't hate it. Oh, yeah. Same. Don't open my Yes, yes. Viola! 
Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, you, you, yes, good. I heard you, but everyone had to play pianissimo, so you have to somehow play more there, a little bit. You're the melody suddenly, yeah? That's one of the hidden, hidden secrets. Right there at F, if possible, sing. Give a sense of singing through, yeah? Wait, wait. Uh, again, I, I, you. Uh, for some reason, you get a little, a little. Can we do a? Yeah, because it's a dim, right? It's for some reason, you come out there a little bit, and that's so magical. The color. Yeah, if you guys can get a little music box for a brief right. moment, yeah? A little sense of, yeah? You don't need time to do that either, particularly. Yeah, just an imagination of the, write it F one more time. be a little more Czech dancey here if you wanted, yeah? Your off beats could be a little more raucous, yeah? The pianist misses a note. It's always famously difficult to place there. Uh, this one, yeah? I don't know why. Every recording has something. Anyway, right there. I really have to stop now. They're going to yell at me. Uh, okay. Thank you, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to get in big trouble. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Goodness, now I'm going to have to actually be
That, again, a lot of wonderful playing, and you're all excellent players in your own, in your own spheres. Um, so I appreciate that. It was, um, this piece is not quite as easy to coach in a certain way as a Dvorak Quintet, and I have much less baggage about this piece, which is probably good. Um, I mean, it's really late. Brahms and, and like late Beethoven, it's kind of like purged down to its essence. And that actually there's certain things that are missing from that we're used to from other Brahms. And it's just the kind of um, skeleton, if you want to say that, of, of what Brahms used to be in a certain way. He's kind of concentrating himself. So the, it becomes more difficult to play these sort of skeletal ideas in the exact way, like the second theme of the first movement is so kind of alarmingly simple in its songfulness, right? And so it's, um, it's a very different kind of playing than the B major trio or the C major trio, and with so much kind of generosity and, and room for fantasy, whereas this feels like it's a little bit more severe, right? The second movement is my, my very favorite Brahms, maybe only rivaled by the movement that comes right after, the 3-2 triple-duple lullaby. Uh, but there's something um, so amazingly ghostly and, and yet profound about that, uh, and the way that Brahms sort of channels his inner gypsy in it. And there's so many little Brahmsian elements put together in this kind of skeletal, again, ghostly. I guess <laughs> ghostly and skeletal are my, my theme words. Uh, at the same time, kind of ironically, I'm going to say that I wish that the I wish that your group sound was a little more cohesive and a little bit warmer at times. Yeah, it has a a certain brightness 
Um, and I think that the, the, there has to be more darkness yeah? in, in, the, in the color and in, and in the thinking. Um, in the piano playing, I think more bass, um, less clear, slightly, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Less, um, uh, well, I, I'll do it by example, and then, then we'll see, yeah? Uh, I think between the two of you, your sound is a lot brighter from at least where I was sitting than, than your sound, in general. And you have a kind of way of vibrating on long notes that's not matched exactly between the two of you. Now, I'm getting in very dangerous territory here because I don't know the first thing about vibrato or uh, and what I know about string playing, I've only picked up by you know, playing and listening. And, but basically, I'm an idiot when it comes to that. Uh, but I just felt um, even the first note, somehow, uh, the sound was not um, unified, you know, the sense, this kind of colossal C minor chord. And I, I think the two of you should spend a little more time matching uh, vibrato and, so that the expressive quality is more similar. Um, Otherwise, it doesn't quite. So try from the beginning, and I'll. And I'll um it's great. You know, it's great. It's got energico, and it's. Uh, it just seems to me a shade masculine for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I think. For me, your vibrato is a little too hysterical for Brahms isn't that kind of expressive world. Um, that's a little more a, a different school. Yeah, The intensity of the harmony is what we want to hear, not the intensity of your violin playing. Does that, does that yeah. make any sense? Yeah? Um, so if there's a way you can tone it so, so it's a little less um, in your face, that we hear less vibrato and we hear more C minor you know, as a, as a sound. And then, uh, I like the way you're very clear. It says, yes, it does say Ben Marcato and all those things. But there's a da da team, the direction to the second chord. It seems a little da 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 da. A little bit turgid in the wrong, maybe in the slightly wrong. If you want, so, so even if there's a forzando on the first chord, I think we're going to maybe the third chord, right? Is the, is the idea. I don't know how you guys thought of shaping it. Yeah? And it's kind of noble even though it's yeah. Okay, one more time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna experiment a little bit. I'm sorry to be I really apologize. I just get um is there a way to play your C, your top C, so that it connects to his B that comes after? So that the end of it is not, if he wants to shape, because if you crescendo at the very end, we get this sense, how is he supposed to uh, connect? Yeah? Uh -huh. it's, a, it's, it's quite an... It's pretty profound. I, I wonder if a two ticks on the metronome faster could help to get. Yeah? This, you don't need to be as loud, either of you yet, and you, neither you. Oh, yeah, okay. it's forte, right? Not, yeah. not. Let's. Yeah. <laughs> I sort of want you to decide a little more which one is the most dramatic of the three chords. For me, the E flat is quite surprising so early on. Yeah? And the triplet should have slightly more sweep yeah? in order to be understood. Yeah? I'm a little bit worried because I see you. I feel like you a little bit, yeah, a little bit, sort of. Maybe that's how you were thinking of it, but it seems to me like the opening gesture ought to yeah. slightly connect, yeah. And what do I mean by dark? 
arc is here, yeah? Even though it's forte. It's brooding, right? It's not furious, you know, that, yeah? It's like, it's on the dominant and it's... Whatever it is, it explodes later, right? So the, whatever you have to do, you have to calibrate your intensity at the beginning so it doesn't all, yeah? Wait, wait, same, same, same thing, but ever so slightly less consonant. Just, I know it's Fort Sando, it, but it's just, it hits me in slightly the wrong way. Like, it doesn't feel, if you had Brahms's flab, you know, that would slightly go through a layer of, of fat before you hit the note. You know what I mean? And yours is so, Pilates, you know, lean, you know? <laughs> yeah, it just said, pom, yeah. Don't get stuck in each triplet. Oh. Give me a little more direction, and that, that was great. I like that sound. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah, it seemed more matched also, yeah? I think I can be helpful. <clears throat> Did you guys decide, uh, after about the second bar, I think we know that the dominant is the key, that we're, we're in the dominant, right? So I think that your Gs can be less, and the, the notes, the dissonant interesting notes. Did you guys already discuss this at great length? Have I stepped on a <laughs> cabbage patch of misery here? Um, this always happens. You, know, you say the exact wrong thing to, whenever I meet with a quartet, for example, I always, the first thing I say is the thing they've been arguing about for years of their lives and whole like anyway um, I mean I like to hear the energy of the G but the other notes are the ones that are, are and when you have the try not to don't use key speed for your intensity yeah I want to hear as singing as you can um, yeah right where you guys I'll tell you my impression of it, it just sounds a little too counted. And um, for example, it seems a little late when you do dee da da dee da da da. It says a da da da, di da da da, di da da. I'm like hearing each, they're like, oh, this is a triplet and this is a. It doesn't feel like it connects together quite as well. Yeah, it's a little bit. I know you want to be correct, but it should feel a little bit like an improvisation on the dominance, right? Di da da da. I would, and again, not to be a difficult. Not. Yeah? Ah! You guys and I, let me try with you. Maybe I can figure out what's going on. Oh, just some da 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 da. Yeah, anyway, it can be da 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 The gesture is from the first note and away from the G, because we got the, I got the G, yeah. I was pushing you a little bit. Maybe it's between the two of you. You are, it's very, it's very steady, and I uh, want a tiny bit more Beethoven um, unsteadiness. Yeah, and less. Again, still, I would say, I, the G is is audible beyond beyond what we need. Yeah. One more time with this, you Um, can you make the top notes more painful? More sighing, yeah? Yeah, and less um, trumpet, a little more. 
Tiara, like you're thinking about an idea and it's a little slightly obsessive, but not in that, yeah? Tiara, right, one, one more time. <laughs> If you can, um, um, yeah. try to make them get confused about where the rhythm is. Because oh, right now, the beats are very clear to me, and I don't like it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, there's a sort of a, 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 sort of a Brahmsian yeah. hemiola beyond hemiola <laughs> yeah? thing that's going on. And you guys are doing your best to make it sound more um, correct than it may be. Yeah? And if possible, is there a way to sing? Yeah, I, I'm getting a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you don't need it. There's plenty of plenty of sound. And you, you, and I wish there was a tiny bit more urgency in the strings when you go to the mezzo forte. Do you have them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so tell me, which one is the one that you're accenting? Which downbeat is the one you're going for in this idea? I have a terrible al al allergy to accents. Uh, and, and everyone complains about that about me, but da dum da -de, da dum da dum. Is it more to the first da dum pa 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 pa? Or is it different the two times? It's different the two times. Did you guys decide this already? We would like to do the second time a little more, perhaps. The whole phrase more. <coughs> oh, just the C major part. Da dum da da. But which note is it? Da dum ta ti da dum pa pa. How does the phrase go? Da dum ta da da dum ba ba da dum da da. Whatever it is, I felt that I heard da dum ta da da dum da dum. Yeah, that both equal. I think that's a problem. Yeah, I like the I like the strictness of the rhythm and, and all that. But I I also think that sometimes the last note should be a question mark. Da dum da da di dum da dum da dum ta da da dum da dum. Maybe the timing could be slightly different in the second one too to reflect your sense of moving to the major, yeah? I know I'm being, uh, uh, posing a lot of an, uh, uh, you wanna try to, why don't you play it the way that you would like it once? Maybe this would be helpful. Just him. Uh huh. Great, is there a way in the long note you can do so that it connects the two? Because what I hear now is it's, yeah? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And be careful when you have a long note, you have a tendency to go with the vibrato yeah. like a maniac. And, and it's, it's great. It's, you sound great. Uh, and I don't mean to be mean about this at all. I'm just saying, in the context of this, yeah. the, it, it, it causes a, a weird hiccup in the phrasing. There's like a moment where it's just sound and there's no um, intention. Does that, yeah. Da dum, pa ba. So uh, I would say, Da dum da 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 dum ba bum, da dum ta ta da dum da dum. And then this one uh, in interrupts, right? So um, whatever you do, don't play two equal downbeats. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean by darkness. This chord is dark. It has underlying intensity, and an accent is not going to just cut it. Yeah? yeah? Just an accent is not going to do it. There's something seething underneath it. So, yeah, and the two accents should be quite different from each other because the second one is more charged. Yeah? Right there where the strings come in? Uh, after that. Da dum ba ba. Uh -huh. I want to take your shoulders and, and tape them down. Oh. Just play it one more time. 
This is not helping you at the moment. Yeah? Oh, Maybe see. later it will help you. Okay. But for the moment, if you want, just try to think. Be careful. When you want intensity, you're doing that. Oh, I see. OK. Yeah. Do you feel that? Do you ever oh, have? Oh, yes. I, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not making your octaves easier to play, certainly. No. Yeah? No. Yeah? Um, it may make you feel more secure in a certain way. And I, believe me, I know the feeling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but then somehow when you let go of it, also the sound is better. It has, oh. It's rounder. Yeah, but when you play it. What, are you guys thinking he yelled bum, ba dum, da ding, ba bum, da ding, bum? Yes? I thought it could be clearer. Yeah? Yeah, it doesn't need to be as loud, but it, the rhythm, the, the hemiola rhythm needs to be more pronounced. Yeah? So we understand against the three of the main bar, there's this profound hemiola tension. Yeah? Da dum, ba ba. Uh -huh. yeah. You could do better with the hemo. Team, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, dum. Just play that right there. Yeah. Try um, nodding your head on each hemo. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And you don't need remotely that much volume oh. to get the intensity that you want. I yeah, see. it's all about, yeah? Oh. Especially when you have your left hand with four note chords, yes. play, it, play it cool, yeah? Because <laughs> you're going to blow them out of the, and encourage their worst tendencies, which, <laughs> which is what you want to avoid in, in chamber music altogether, and, and, and vice versa. Anyway, uh, right there, da-dum, da dum da dum <laughs> Do you guys feel that there? This sort of triplet changes its quality. It's a little less. Uh, do you guys have staccato? No, they're not staccato, right? I would say this forzando is less like accents and more like emphases of, of oh, this is a new harmony. Yeah? Uh, slightly more direction and less volume. Yeah? Ah, wait, wait, hold on. The first note singing, singing. Yes. Wait, wait. This is wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Um, hmm. Play it just you, you two. I, I don't know what's wrong, but I have to fix it. <laughs> right, right, right there. Yeah. Da 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 da. No, without you. That's, that's the vibrato I'm worried about, right there. In the sustained notes, it's distracting, yeah? And it causes the line to, yeah? I, it's for some reason, suddenly I'm not, not listening to Brahms anymore. I'm listening to your, your sound, yeah? Great, great, good. And pa, 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 pa. Set up his triplet, because right now it sounds like you guys, da, 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 oh, we're done with our, uh, so a little bit, and each one a little bit more, yeah? with everybody. Yeah? Great, great. You don't need to be as loud. Do the exact same thing, slightly more direction, less loud. That's my key phrase to you. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's lots of intensity, less mass. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Especially careful with the left hand, yeah, oh. in here for, for whatever reason. <laughs> mm. I'm, it's it's sorry, I'm getting a little bit. You, da, 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 da. They keep da, 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 and you have like a moment where you wait for yeah. some reason. You're in your own time, and it's not responding. Sorry. That chord should have a roundness to it, not it's right because yeah. it's surprising to go through E flat to G flat. It's actually rather open suddenly, right? And not at all um, suddenly in that 
heroic vein. It, has, it changes its character, yes. right? And so even though your crescendo, <laughs> singing B flat yeah everybody everybody so don't be late on the third beat is I guess what I'm saying in a very verbose way yeah you guys are playing so loud in here just the same thing just take it all down 10% you know yeah. I'm trying to figure you out here. It, each third beat is you just on your own space there. Do you? Da, 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 and the, I don't sense this urgency of getting to each new harmony. Yeah. Oh, see. Yeah, it's, it's just yeah. slightly. Da, 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 I keep waiting for you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let it go. Uh, connect the four bars. Yeah. Okay. Don't don't be so patient. Nope. I guess or or <laughs> whatever it is. The drive to the top and then then release it all. Yeah? Okay. No, not angry. There's so many things I would like to, to say about that. Um, it was so much better when you didn't. Yes, yeah, I see. I yeah. see. Yeah, that's, it enters a whole different. Um, that was great when you came in. And then yours seemed a little different. I, I thought I liked his a tiny bit better. Yeah, in that case. Yeah, yours is more. Um, his is more uh, pulling against the beat, and yours seemed a little more like to define where the beats are. Okay. Yeah? And I think this is a place where Brahms is sort of ripping it apart so that then we can appear. Now, when you, have you guys spent hours arguing about how to do da 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 A little bit? Or? We can discuss to a certain yeah. extent. <laughs> not hours. May I ask what the substance of the. Uh, the it sound more noble. Right, sound more right. And then we had an um, argument about the long notes, if they should actually have a diminuendo and relax, or actually mm -hmm. to sustain them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what I noticed when you played it through the first time, uh, which, I, which bothered me for one reason or another, but I couldn't, I didn't have a, you know, it's not often easy to be rational about one's objections. But I noticed a da 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 that seemed like a new idea because of the dim that happened in the long notes. And it seemed this is a place Whatever it is that the one has to hear the connection of the theme throughout, it's not It doesn't feel to me like one of these waltzes. It feels to me more like that kind of, like the theme of the last movement of the first symphony, or. Something like that, you know, incredibly long breathed and mm. profoundly beautiful and profoundly attentive to the connection of the end of each long note to the beginning of the next mm -hmm. note. Yeah, that's that's my two cents about it. I know you, you guys are. I've heard it a million ways. Um, you you could be more discreet with your interjections. Yeah, just it's da 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 da. Don't, da -do -do, don't, don't over duple us, yeah? Awesome. Try, try once for me in that vein, you know, really taking care for the end of the long notes into the next, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's possible to do. 
it's sustained through the E flat, so it goes to the D. I don't know. I, I hear D. Right, right. And so, ti da da di da da. Those two C's are different. Ti da 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 di da. The second C is more released or relinquishing than the first. Does that make any sense? Without knowing it, very subtly, and without doing anything overtly objectionable, you are holding this phrase back. <coughs> the power of chamber music is that you never exactly know who's, who's at fault. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's, I'm not trying to uh, really, uh, oh. no, it's, this is a very hard little idea to play in a way. Let me try with them and see, I mean, for me, Particularly, it's very important after the first two phrases, which are somewhat on the static side, right? Mm -hmm. This has this sense of spilling over and becoming ecstatic, yeah? Which it didn't, I thought it sounded too similar, the continuation to the. Would you guys consider a little bit faster? Surprisingly, your syncopation is really important. Can you guys play there where you have the little thing? Yes, you guys are dissonant there, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, on the downbeat, the B flat and the C. That's the most important thing. And then you set up the next phrase with your syncopated. And there's some sense in which the, it's becoming, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right there would be great. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta hear him. Yes. 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 I was pushing and yelling, and, and it's impossible to play <laughs> properly and all of that. But I felt that it, it had a little more flow and, and release. Yeah, before it seemed a little over analyzed. Yeah, like it kept stopping. I was like, oh no, yes, all of that. But you know, it has. There's a moment in this piece where it lets loose in the most beautiful Brahmsian way, and you have to set up everything to to get there. Otherwise, the piece kind of <laughs> yeah, 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 and that's still piano, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yes, yeah. And experiment as much as you can with uh, just um, <laughs> this kind of.
this kind of phrase, the, the slur is right? It's against the you no, it's not. It's so important. Okay, onward to the development. How am I doing on as usual? I can't tell what I have time. Good, okay. <laughs> Yum dum here. Gypsy. Uh huh. Yeah, great. You pia you piano dolce. You don't. You're in no danger of being covered. Yeah. Okay. Be be sweet and be careful when you have triplets. You play them all. Pretty you sad. have a tendency to play them all three triplets of a beat equally. Do 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 do. Maybe slightly longer on the first one and move through the second and third one. Try. That was so beautiful, guys. Yeah. Maybe try to ear, uh, imitate his. Because I think it goes to the second beat in a way, right? And then you do the same. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, and, okay, try it right there, right there, everybody. No crescendo, just no. Yeah, da, 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 just static, like hovering. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now crescendo. wonderfully together and incredibly clean and just too clean, you know. <laughs> Bra Brahms would never have played remotely that clean, you know, there would have been pedal and cussing and, you know, I mean, it's just the sense of it should not be, I don't think, right? And if you're not exactly one smidgen together, it's not, you know, the end of the universe. But the shaping is, is kind of more important, yeah? And, and each person that enters kind of enters from beneath and kind of makes themselves known and then gets out of the way a little bit. There's a sort of a sense of each voice egging the other on. And right now it's sent a little bit, yeah? Right, right there at that, uh, whatever, bar? 117, I think. 117? 117. So slightly, slightly, sorry, slightly more, <laughs> a slightly more pedal, okay? Sorry. I know you have a lot of staccatos, but okay. let's not be, you know, it's not Stravinsky, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The least, right? The after, yeah. yeah. So make sure you think that da 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 di da 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 Right? That one starts a little later and a little softer, and and makes the build up. Great. That was better. It was better. The very important that you play that C very singingly there. So you. That's a really important moment of dissonance. Yeah. Yeah. It should be a little discombobulated. <laughs> Maybe not as discombobulated as I just was. But something. Yeah, not so. Yeah, oh, not, see, the, yeah. yeah not too. Um, 
what's the word? I'm not really getting it. Okay, let me just talk a little bit about with you guys about the Presto. Is that okay? Just to switch to the. You just start it one more time so I remember the. It's very good in many ways, and I, I feel like the way to improve it is to be slightly more careful about shaping of the cadential bars. Yeah? Whenever the phrase ends, you guys have a slight tendency to accent the last, the resolution of every phrase, yeah? which is a particular bugaboo of mine. I always want the tonic resolution to be um, not swallowed, but released, yeah? not, not uh, emphasized. But of course, there are lots of exceptions. But especially in something like this where everything depends on the whole idea of this movement is phrases that vanish into thin air, right? Things that evanesce into non-existence. Yeah? That's particularly true of the first phrase, right? I don't know. Maybe you need to start slightly more so you can do that more. Um, and then I would be careful. You, it's very nice what you're doing. You're very, it's very meticulous and careful, and, uh, and uh, I like how seems to me that the first two phrases seemed a little bit too similar to each other. And then, and then the center. slightly you could notice more when the harmony and it's sort of it's something slightly more scurrying sometimes it doesn't always stay put so there's a little tiny bit of Mendelssohn in there hiding yeah That's hard, but it's so important. Like that's the, how, that's the way the piece ends, and that's the way the piece begins. Yeah, and then you're, it's a different voice. Like tossing a ball up and then letting it. Yeah, you have a slight tendency that your balls. Um, they tend to stay close to the right. And if you had a little courage, yeah? Try from the beginning one more time. Yeah, if possible, the last note even softer. Let's be, let's be daring, yeah? One more time. You guys could be softer on the, on the third one also, right? Yeah? Ah. Now I'd say probably slightly more, right? So you when you come in there, a little bit da 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 dum, so you can do the dim again like uh the first time, that was really beautiful. Yeah, this is that piece. This piece really needs that magical. Um, yeah, I, I hate to say it, you're a little too soft this time. <laughs> 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 there, yeah, yeah. Not the beginning. The beginning was beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's from the beginning. Right?
Yeah, yeah. Right. right. That's what I mean. Like sometimes it's not what you expect, right? It has a slightly scurrying, you know, that it's a, it will kind of suddenly, like a mouse darting away or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it becomes. It felt a little funeral marchy, which I think is not. It has the idea of a funeral march lurking around, but it's not, right? It doesn't. Da -da 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 -da. Has a little um, mischievous. Yeah. Go, go right there. Um, how, well, how about where you do? Da -da 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 -da. Like 17, second half of 17. If possible, sing more the G, yeah. the top. The Yeah, and those those downbeats less. Da 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 dim da dum da dum. Yeah, not so much on the. Yeah. Mm. Yes, dim but a little urgent. Ba dum. Now go away, go away. Now a totally different sound, totally different. This sound that you've never heard in this piece. So far, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Suddenly turn on a halogen lamp or something, yeah? <laughs> Ping on the top note, I would say, a little bit. It's a certain, yeah, maybe. Hold on, let me, let me, let me experiment. You down here. Yeah. yeah. yeah and you both have fortes, right? I don't know. I thought it was a little understated. Maybe you know. Maybe you guys decided that. But uh, there's also that curious marking, sara voce ma agitato, the second time, right? Do you have that the second time it comes? You don't. The pianist has that, right? Agitato, agitato ma sempre piano. Did you guys not discuss that? <sighs> <laughs> So I think da 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 da. So it's not expected exactly when you come in. Yeah? How about the last, the upbeat to the neutral number question? Uh huh. How is it? It's really, it's good. It's be, I like the color. It's really nice. Um, how can you make us feel like you've played a C minor chord and you don't know there's a C major? I don't think you should be. It should not. You should not. It's not. Possible. If possible. And then these 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 notes are incredibly short. Each one has a slightly different timing, possibly, if you're, if you're, yeah? Yeah, does that make any sense? That is a little later to understand the structure of the phrase? Yes. Yeah. So if, how do you play? So that you don't know that the E natural is coming, yeah? I want to. First note. Yeah, it's forte, right? Uh, it's not similar to his uh, yet. Uh, maybe you guys decided it was one long diminuendo, or well, the last one is not forte. The last one is not forte. Okay, my my apologies. But you both have dims there, so it's less loud, but it's the same, maybe the same gesture. Yeah. There's got to be something a little more elfin and devilish in the in the way you. Yeah. One more time. What's going to happen?
that's good. This was better. The first time it sounded a little like you were playing a ragtime back there with your <laughs> syncopations, yeah? And this time it had a little more um, uh, atmosphere, yeah? Nice. You don't have to worry so much. They're all under slurs, right? Yes. I would ex experiment with the color of those last notes, nice. yeah? And the left hand. sure you don't give away the surprise um, yeah one, one more time with the violin when the violin has it it's very beautiful I would say slight for me slightly more slur and slightly less it's like a yeah so it sounds a little less yeah <laughs> Good. We have to stop because I'm now being yelled at again. Uh, but th th that was very beautiful. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Good job. I'm sorry to pick on you. Oh, no. I, thank you so much. Yeah, no. I really appreciate it. <laughs>